back by popular demand. The last video I posted went very viral. Uh, I've had messages from across the country asking for more. So here I am. That's the hundred. So I'm on my way to return this loner Tesla. Oh, oh shit. Oh. I spilled coke all over. The car's a little torquey, so it's all spilled into here. Um, I mean, what can you do, right? That's just the way it goes sometimes for them. Um, so my Tesla broke and I bring it in for repair and they give me this P90D um, Model S and I just wanted to go through kind of like a comparison and the reason for this comparison is not to see the different features or things like that because there's tons of information on that but basically I want to know um, what are some commonalities between Teslas I've had mine for a while now and I've noticed some issues with it uh, and I wanted to see if there were some some uh, similarities between this one because both of them are the same year and almost the same model. This is a P90D minus the 85D, but um, the issues that I've been having would be unrelated to the power plant, but more like features of the car. One being, uh, I had to get the sunroof, the big moonroof, serviced because mine would open um, incorrectly. It would kind of like shake around and uh, make a lot of noise. It was not smooth and it wasn't quiet. I had that serviced. And this one here, as soon as I hopped into it, um, the, the sunroof wouldn't even open. I'm going to try it now. So... Here we go, three, two, one, I'm gonna hit the button now. Okay, that's open, it's supposed to be open. All it did was crack a little bit. See, it doesn't even open. Uh, I'm gonna hit close. Okay, now it's closed. Now I'm gonna hit open again and try to assist it with my hand. Three, two, one, open and assist. See, if I assist it, it'll open. So that's kind of like two cars with the same kind of issue, two cars with the same kind of issue. Um, I'm, I'm wondering if this is a common issue with the sunroofs. Uh, based on my experience, I'm gonna say yes. Another one is I had a window regulator break. My rear driver's window regulator snapped. The window just fell down and you cannot put it up and down because the regulator broke. Um, this one, the windows are working but the passenger front window is making noise when you go up and down so I can tell it's gonna break soon that you can hear the the mechanism going um, as well as the back window is kind of rough to open and close so the next common issue I'm gonna say that they have based on real experience the coke is evaporating uh, based on real experience, I'm going to say is the window regulators are are of poor quality. If you have the non-suede interior for the headliner and the side panels, um, the the interior will be um, less quality in the sense of falling apart. Uh, the non-suede side panel, because you rub over here getting in and out. Oh, this one has like a little little bubble spot there so the glue's coming off but with the non-suede this one is suede with the non-suede uh as you get in and out of the car and you rub here it rips very easily a lot of them are just torn they have a rip right here these ones can take a beating so if you can get the suede uh it's highly recommended or you're going to have another common issue right here this one has ludicrous and ludicrous plus mode uh being that it's the performance model uh, the power difference you really only feel from zero to about 50 or 60 kilometers. Um, after that, it feels very similar. Uh, although the P model is faster, uh, it's not a dramatic difference 
above 50 kilometers an hour so only if you really really want a little bit faster low end speed then get the P model if you aren't gonna use that very often and if you want it more in the mids and highs like highway and things like that I didn't really notice uh, a significant difference at all I find that uh, it's really easy to lose things in here and it's hard to reach to get things out of it um, and this part doesn't even work uh, and it's kind of tricky to clean as well uh, whereas without this it's just one basic opening and it seems to be a lot easier to maintain um, and you don't lose things like I actually lost the car key in here and it took me forever to find it because it was like hidden in a crack in here uh, you don't have that problem without the center console I would say the center console is not an upgrade and I would prefer not to have it hey man hey I got some hot food how are you? Thanks, man. Oh, no problem. Enjoy it. Yeah, I just want to get the hell out of here. Bro. Yeah, no problem. Thanks a lot. Stay buddy. warm. I appreciate it. Yeah, have, have a good a nice night. night.